Hey, hey, this Tony G with the Car Chronicles. Hey, yesterday I, I posted, and I'm sitting still today, so y'all chill, all y'all law-abiding citizens. Yesterday I posted, stop praising boyfriends, and you know, some folks didn't like it, some folks didn't appreciate it. But this coming from a married man perspective, and I want you to understand the importance of this and why I say this. It's because men, we get complacent easy. So if you give a boyfriend the benefits of a husband, there's no incentive for us to marry you. If I can have sex with you any kind of way I want to have sex with you uh, without marrying you, if you can, if you washing my clothes and cleaning my dirty drawers, if you posting pictures of me on your Facebook and your Instagram and your Twitter and you taking yourself off of the market and you singing my praises, unless I'm a devout man of God, a man of, of faith, Christian, full of purpose and a whole lot of responsibility in the community like a barack obama or somebody unless i'm that guess what you sending more women to me because you praising me and if you praising me then every other woman want me and if i'm not married to you why what's going to stop me from sleeping with them other women and then if you give me everything of you it says to me that you really don't value yourself and that you feel like you got the uh, work your finger to the bone and that you got to slave yourself to keep a man it lets me know that you desperate and that you thirsty and that you don't understand your worth and that you don't understand that if i want your heart it's of the essence that i work that i ought to be courting you and working for you and that i ought to be posting you on my instagram and on my facebook and on my twitter and not expecting you to do it in return because i'm the man and i should be leading with chivalry and leading by example so we got a lot of women oh i'm gonna praise my boyfriend i'm gonna praise my boy keep praising your boyfriend you're gonna be single you're gonna be single in six months or a year or you're gonna be getting cheated on and here's one thing if, if, if you're gonna flaunt it when i say praise i don't mean don't say good job thank you for being a great guy i mean don't go putting all your business on facebook when y'all just been dating six months now, if you've been a year, two years, three years, you know it's real. You got a wedding date set. Okay, that's different. Y'all just been dating six months, just been dating a year. You know y'all fighting every other day, and then you going on Facebook because you're trying to make some haters jealous because you want to make other women jealous and look like you found your man, you found love, so you special and you different. That's stupid. Stop praising boyfriends. Let a man work for your love. Let a man work for your heart. Let a man bend over backwards for you for a change. And when you do that, guess what? He gonna man up and marry you. My wife ain't never praised me. She ain't never post me. She ain't never uh, put me online and say this is the greatest man ever. She just started doing that a year ago. We've been married seven years. She made me work. She needed to know that it was real, that it was serious. So I speak from experience, from a married, faithful man. This is what it takes to get a man respect. Respect yourself and stop bending over backwards. Close your legs and open your mind. Love yourself, have self-worth, and respect yourself and stop praising these grown boys. That's why you're single every six months, every year, every two years, because you're giving boyfriends the benefits of a husband. Please stop.